Hello, my name's Linda Bosico, and I'm honored today to talk to you about prayer, especially how prayer has affected my life. One thing that I'd like you to know is that I came to this church in 1959, and it's been a tremendous growth process for me. Prayer has been a topic that in the beginning was felt very cold to me because I felt it very one-sided. And then I learned something really miraculous. I learned that I don't have to be perfect when I pray. I don't have to be eloquent. I don't have to be knowledgeable, a certain emotion, be perfect. I just have to be me. And that was the biggest, biggest relief to me. I've had some books that have really helped me. One of the ones, it's a journal. And I decided to journal because I do have memory problems sometimes when I really want to retain something that just isn't there. And I ask the Holy Spirit to help me. And He really does. And I believe with my whole heart God put this in my path because he cares about me personally. And it's called, Hello God, it's me. And I put Linda underneath, because you know when I used to pray, I thought I wasn't worthy enough. I thought I didn't have the right words. I thought, who am I? God is this magnificent Southern being. And I had a hard time coming to grips with, Linda, you're special. Linda, you mean the world to God. You're his child, the heir to his kingdom. And something clicked inside of me at that time. So I do this every morning. I start in the morning and I just say, hello, God, it's me, Linda. And it makes me feel so special. I heard that in the Bible, Abba is mentioned seven times in the Old Testament and 70 times in the New Testament. And Abba is similar to Daddy. And once I started praying with Abba Father, something began to happen in my life. The intimacy I share today compared to what I shared many moons ago is like day and night. And it's because it's like a telephone. When you pick up the telephone and you talk to your most treasured friend, you know they're there and you're so happy to speak with them. Well, now it's like when I sit and I talk and invite the Lord into my prayer time, there's somebody sitting there with me. His spirit is overwhelming to me. I started out praying in five minutes and 10 minutes increments. And I thought I was doing really good, but I, I wasn't connecting until I really researched prayer for me. And now I have to tell you today, I start out at 9 o'clock in the morning and I can't finish before 12 noon. I am so filled with joy when I talk to the Lord. One of the examples I learned too about prayer, answered prayer, was when I was newly married, my husband got cancer. We had just lost a child. He was very young, he was only 28. And the doctor said he could die. He had a liposarcoma. But because of prayer, because of loving people that God put in our path, the doctor that he had searched all over the country for who was working on that specific cancer. And it was the Buffalo Cancer Institute and he had us there with him one day. They thought he might lose his leg but if he didn't have it taken, he could lose his life. There was so much prayer going on. I prayed in my church, we prayed, they reached out to prayer groups. When I was sitting in the waiting room waiting for him to come back, a pastor showed up from the Buffalo Church. I never met him, I never knew him. He said to me, he said, God must really want me to come and visit you because the prayer requests that have come into my office are amazing. I mean, isn't that God? That's how God answers prayers. He puts people, places, and things in our path. The only thing I have to do 
is listen. I always raced through prayer in the past. I didn't give God time to talk to me. And I realize that's the key. He always talks to me, but not in the time frame I may want and not the way I may want. But I've learned the answered prayer for me has not only been exciting, but he's answered every one. And some of them haven't been what I wanted, but years down the road, they were even better than what I asked for. He really wants to talk to us. He initiates it at times. When you feel that feeling that you should be praying or you want to talk to God, God's trying to reach out because he really wants to have time with us. So prayer is, it's number one to me in my life. And I just wanted to share this with all of you because if you really listen, he's not in loud banging noises. He's in a quiet voice that speaks to your heart. So please, invest the time to take time and pray and really believe there's someone on the other end when you invite him in.